Hi guys, and welcome back to Strive to Survive. And in this episode, we're going to say hello to this red sheep that has somehow managed to get off of his island all the way over there, and uh, has come all the way over here. So, good for him. But, anyways, what we're really going to be doing this episode is uh, discovering how to do some of the basic brewing functions in Minecraft. And... To do so, we're going to need a couple things. So let's head down here and get to it. Um, as you can see, I've well, I haven't done too much. Uh, basically, just got some materials together to do this. Uh, this is all the stuff we're going to need uh, to do some basics here. Uh, first, we're going to grab one of our blaze rods. We're going to take three cobblestone along the bottom and our blaze rod, and that will turn it into a brewing stand. So we'll grab that put it on our little makeshift table here um, and to interact with this you just right click on it like you would a chest you have to right click on the bottom of it though if you're clicking on the top nothing happens you actually have to click towards the base of the stand so basically the way this works is you'll put your potions in the bottom here and whatever you want to add to them you'll put in the top so your ingredient will go in the top and then it'll kind of condense down into each of the things on the bottom. Now you could either put just one here or you could put up to three here. I always do three because you have to use the same amount of ingredients whether you're making one or three so not really a point to just make one of something. Uh, but another thing we're gonna need is something to hold our potions which will take our glass blocks arrange them like a bucket and we'll get three glass bottles so with these glass bottles, they're pretty useless, uh, empty. We need to fill them with water, which you can do by just going over to the stream here and right-clicking, um, which is all fine and good, but I want to fancify this area a little bit, so what I'm going to do is right-click on our stand here, and we're going to make a cauldron, because why not? Now, it's important to note that once the, these glass bottles unfull, we're stackable. Once you start putting anything in them, they're no longer stackable. So, we're going to set our cauldron up over here. And we'll fill it up real quick. Now we can fill our... Well, let's refill our bucket here. But we could fill these glass bottles here as well, and I'll demonstrate that. Now, one of the things you could do with these water bottles is... Drink them but that's pointless, it doesn't do anything, so we'll uh, fill it back up. You see our cauldron got a little less full. You can fill up, I think, three glass bottles with a cauldron, whereas we can fill up endless over here. So this is more just for looks, and I'm going to put like a lever or something over here, I think. Let's see if I can remember how to make a lever. There we go. It's a nice little spigot there. It, completely pointless, but, you know, I want to do it, so. Alright, so let's put our water bottles in here, like that, and we will turn them into the most basic of Minecraft potions using one nether wart. So, we'll take our nether wart, we'll add it to the top, it'll do its little brewing animation, the arrow will start proceeding down, and when it gets to the bottom here, we'll end up with something called Awkward Potions. Awkward Potions are the base to any Minecraft potion. So, let's let that finish real quickly. So, it's done now. So, you see Awkward Potion, and it says no effects. So, we'll need to add another ingredient to those to turn them into something useful. And... Basically, the ingredients we have down here right now, we have magma cream, which we'll go into in a little bit, uh, nether wart to make everything into awkward potions, that's why it's so important, because it's the base for all Minecraft potions. We have redstone, which basically um, will, I believe, lengthen the amount of time or make it stronger. Glowstone and redstone, um, one of them increases the duration and one of them makes it more potent which we'll find out in a little bit. 
and then gunpowder turns anything from a regular potion that you have to drink like we saw with the water bottle into a splash potion which you throw so you can get potions of poison that you could throw on enemies um, you can get a splash potion of healing which you could just kind of throw up in the air and let it land on yourself so gunpowder definitely comes in handy um, but we actually need more ingredients than what we have here to make any sort of useful potion so let me go gather some of those and uh, we'll find out exactly why we got melons and things like that uh, in a second here so give me a few seconds guys and I'll be right back alright guys we're back and I grabbed some more ingredients to finish um, this kind of tutorial I guess we'll call it um, first thing I grabbed was some sugar cane and we're gonna turn that all into sugar because that's one of the base ingredients so we'll, we'll dump that in here um, I also grabbed some melons and some gold and we're gonna take those gold put them in here turn them into gold nuggets and then take these melons put them in the middle surround them with the gold and turn them into glycerin glistening melons which is the base for the health potions in Minecraft the sugar is the base for the speed potions so we'll make three glistening melons oh they just they just look so delicious kinda just wanna eat one um, and we'll, we'll be left with some gold nuggets which we'll just drop into there so um, we only have one redstone so we're only gonna be able to do this once and we'll do one glowstone and we'll do um, one gunpowder so let's kind of experiment here a little bit so first we'll do the sugar and we'll see exactly what we're gonna get here with sugar and while that's happening I'm gonna make some more glass bottles and fill them up here two three there we go so let's see what we end up with and we're quickly running out of space here so potion of swiftness so it's a speed potion so these will make well we'll add some glowstone to these and see exactly what happens so you can see right now it's speed it's a potion of swiftness plus 20 percent speed for three minutes so we'll add the glowstone and wait a little bit and we end up with speed two so it cuts this the time in half to 1 minute 30 seconds but it doubles the speed increase to 40 percent so glowstone basically will make uh, potions stronger but less duration redstone will make them the same um, strength but over a longer time and we'll demonstrate that using our glistening melons here um, but first we gotta free up a little bit of inventory space so yeah, we got an achievement. So, dump you in here. I know this isn't the most efficient way to be doing this. But, unfortunately, uh, I have so much stuff in my inventory right now, it's about the only way we can do it. So let's toss these water bottles in. And grab a piece of nether wart, because that is the key to starting any successful brewing potion. Get that going there and we're going to use our glistening melon and a piece of redstone and we might actually throw the gunpowder in with this one as well so but first we gotta let this cook and it's almost done it'll turn these water bottles into awkward potions with no effects we'll add our glistening melon to it and there, there's a bunch of other potions uh, you could check out the minecraft wiki if you want to see all of them uh, I'm just showing you some basic ones that we're going to use the most often, uh, and that's speed, uh, maybe night vision, which you'd need, I think, golden carrots for, um, but that's a whole different realm of things, so we're not going to go into the, that this episode, not, of course, a thunderstorm, anything to make it harder for you guys to hear me. Um, so yeah, so now we're in potion of heal. Um, what we're going to do to that, though, is we're going to add the redstone. Oop, you actually can't add redstone to that, but you can add gunpowder. So let's do that. 
Uh, and then we'll have to use the redstone on a different one. We could have got instant healing too had we put glowstone on here. And it would have been a, a stronger potion. Um, but if we add the gunpowder, you'll see that these turn into like almost little grenades. So it'll turn into... There we go. Uh, splash potions of healing. So let's grab a couple of these. And is it night time? Can I, can I sleep away this storm? Let's try it, just just because I think it's night time. Yeah, there we go. Go away, storm. Thank you. Okay, so anyways, we're going to grab uh, some more glowstone, actually, so that we can demonstrate this, but... All my glowstones down in this chest. But, so I'll show you the difference between some of these potions here. So, our speed 2 potions. Now, we would. We have to drink this potion. It's not just a throwing, it's, it's a drinking. So, that. If that was health, it would take a little bit longer. With the splash potion, you just aim it towards something that you could either aim straight up or you could aim straight down or throw it at this wall the closer it gets to you the same like with the witch effects if it hits you dead on you're gonna get a better a better benefit from it so oops. Um, well apparently that either did not hit us or since we're already at full health it did nothing to us um, hmm. let me see if we can injure ourselves a little bit that way we can we could demonstrate this. Is there anything out here to damage us other than jumping from a very tall height? Probably not, so let's just do that. We'll, we'll go to the top of something and, and jump off. Now, that should damage us a little bit. So, so yeah. So you can see we gained back some health there. Um, it wasn't very strong at all, but at least uh, we gained some back. Ideally, you would make... Um, well, that was not a good idea, because I'm not going to be able to get those last couple blocks. Ideally, what you would do is you'd make uh, potions of regeneration, not potions of... Er, yeah, not potions of healing. Yeah, I don't know why I'm using a pick. But, yeah, you would make potions of regeneration. That way... Uh, it's a heal over time effect, not just a... I mean, what we used could be helpful if you're losing a battle against a wither skeleton or something. But in general, you want potions of regen, which last like 30 or 45 seconds. So that's definitely going to be better than what we did here. Um, but let's go ahead and make a couple more uh, potions here, which we'll need. Now you can see those those splash po potions. The bottles are just gone. We can't use them anymore because we broke them. But uh, the drinkable ones turn back into glass if we drink it. So let's uh, take this swiftness. Now you can see we have this speed two effect for a minute and thirty seconds, and we still have our glass bottle, which basically just makes us run a lot faster. And that'll be pretty helpful down the road. So let's make some more glass here. Fill it up real quick. Get three of them, that way we can put them in here. We'll grab some more nether wart. And, uh, whoop. yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter where in our inventory we put that. Start getting that going. We'll put this final glass bottle in there, because we don't really need it right now. And you'll get these funny little potion effects, and now's a good time to actually talk about what milk will do. Uh, we've got 35 seconds of this left. I don't know if that's going to be enough time to demonstrate this. But if we can get over to one of our cows in 35 seconds, and we had an empty bucket, which we don't. 19 seconds. Let's just dump this water and there so 
and we'll go over to this cow get some milk now you can see we have this speed potion for seven more seconds we drink the milk cancels the effect of the speed potion it would also cancel the effect of any other negative effects we had on us like poison so that's why it's good to have a bucket of milk on you when you're fighting cave spiders uh, or another enemy I, I believe it'll even work on the wither skeletons wither effect or the witches uh, when they throw poison or weakness on you so definitely a handy thing to, to carry around um, I usually don't only because I don't have a bucket for it so uh, let's go ahead and add some sugar to this we'll turn this into a speed potion as well and uh, that, I'm only doing that because sugar is really easy to get um, some of these other uh, ingredients like fermented spider eyes they're, they're kinda harder because you have to have the spider eye you have to add sugar make the fermented spider eye so um, that's why I'm not doing that um, but if we add redstone to this you'll see so speed uh, it's a 20 percent speed increase by default for three minutes so we're gonna add the redstone see what happens here and just give it a couple seconds here and it should be done so now it's a it's still 20 percent but it's for eight minutes instead of three so and we could turn these I I think you could turn these into splash potions. I, I don't want to waste the gunpowder since we only have uh, three left on doing that, and gunpowder is kind of hard to get. You gotta hunt creepers, which I mean that's not difficult, but I just don't feel like doing it right now to be honest. So we're gonna put that in there. Uh, we're gonna drop our sugar off. We're gonna drop off our glistening melons, and uh, I'm sure in some future episodes we'll be coming down here and doing some brewing. Uh, but one thing to note is how much space this stuff takes up. So we made just a couple potions here, and we're already using, because these don't stack at all. They're, you just can't stack them. Even the ones that are the same don't stack. So they take up a lot of room in your inventory. That's why I usually only carry around one or two potions on me. Um, and to be honest, this splash potion of healing is kind of worthless. Uh, if it was regen, uh, it would be a lot better. So that's something we'll have to make in a future episode is a potion of regen uh, but that's about it guys uh, we got the brewing stand up and running we got uh, showed you how to make the glass for this uh, we got a cauldron going our nether ward is coming along just fine none of them are fully grown yet but they're getting there um, so yeah that's it for this episode guys thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned hi guys welcome back and I know this is a little bit off topic of what we've been doing but I'm down in the branch mines again and I'm actually down in our second tunnel when you come off the stairwell and I was just digging around trying to get some actual resources for brewing and you could see I've struck diamonds so that's why we're recording right now I'm going to do the typical thing and try to dig out as much as I can around them to make sure that we're not going to somehow lose them. And it looks like there was three there, um, which isn't a bad haul, really. And I'll dig around. Whoa, a good thing we kept looking. There's a fourth. And we'll dig around a little bit more, just in case any are kind of spread out or hiding. But it looks like that's it, guys. Uh, four diamonds, so just figured I'd go ahead and let you guys know where those were. Hi guys, and welcome back. So, we're uh, actually down in the branch mines, as you can see. Uh, and we're in the second one off from off to the right from our stairs. And right at the end here, um, there's the position for anyone wondering. It's X85Z257. And uh, not the first tunnel here, but the second tunnel. Uh, we've got more diamonds. So I figured I'd just record it and we'll do what we typically do dig around, make sure that we're not going to drop them into any lava. And it looks like there's quite a few here, at least four that we can see. So, quite a nice haul. There's at least five 
and I'll dig around a little bit more here but yeah looks like about five so fantastic nice little haul of diamonds and I just uh, wanted to make sure that I caught that on uh, the recording for you guys so yeah that's that's that guys uh, I'm gonna keep doing some more branch mining and if I find any more diamonds uh, I'll definitely let you guys know so thanks for watching